are now on episode three of Back to the Future. Yes, show my goals. And get the good old loading screen. The flux capacitor is fluxing. Citizen Brown. Relax, we have everything under control. First Citizen Doc Brown. Escape from the crashed machine. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. What the hell? Hey, could you give me a Jennifer? This is the dumbest design ever. What have I got in my inventory? Photo oh, okay. Still got that. Newspaper. A couple of newspapers. some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Uh, well, yeah, it's a DeLorean. What else would it be? How the hell did it get into the billboard like that? Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? <laughs> so who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Uh... Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And... <laughs> you got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch, Macaulay. What do you give me for it? Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. 
What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. You've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. Never mind. I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. May I please have the tire iron? The tire who? The big metal thing you're holding. Oh, right. As soon as you offer up a decent trade. Ugh. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Oh man, what's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just. What's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Jennifer, please. This is serious. This tire thing really has some value to you, huh? At the moment, yes. Then it better be a pretty good trade. <laughs> no. All right. Let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Ugh, smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oops. Oh. Probably want to keep that. Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? Doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Probably. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, that's probably worse. I could really use your help right about now. Relax! We've got everything under control. Get yourself over the wall and into Hill Valley. Oh, okay. There's a wall. These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? Well... Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Can I use that? It's barely hanging on to the axle. It's barely hanging on to the axle. So I can't use it to get over? These walls couldn't possibly go around the entire city, could they? Hmm. 
Well... How the hell do you get through these? Uh, check, check. Sibilance, sibilance. Who is this? Stop messing with the intercom. Oh, haha, <laughs> hi. Can you buzz me in? Visitors must check in at the North Gate. Oh, North Gate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's gotta be another way. Hi, uh, uh listen, I'm not a visitor. C can you let me in? Why don't you just use your clicker? Clicker? Uh, yeah, m mine's broken. Broken clicker? Okay, just head around to the North Gate to exchange it for a working one. Northgate? I'm not walking clear around Hill Valley. There's got to be another way. Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... Well, that's not good. Ah, if I only had my hoverboard, or something like it... Yeah, Man, the wheel. This is the second time I've completely destroyed Doc's time machine. I just shouldn't be allowed to drive it anymore. Take the wheel. It's barely hanging on to the axle. What do I need to take it off? Here I am. Didn't know I had that. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now think, Marty, think. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. Well, now that it's off the car, it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected. I don't think that's gonna buff out. I hope there's something salvageable here. I don't think that's gonna buff out. I don't think that's gonna buff out. Right. I wanted to get into the back. I don't think, I don't that's, think that's gonna buff, buff out. out. Hmm. Can we walk forward? No. Okay. Clues on how to get there. In the engine compartment. Engines in the back. Dig around in the back of the car until you find the battery. <clears throat> okay, so... I don't think that's gonna buff out. I need the wheel off the car, but the wheel doesn't work without power. I don't think that's gonna buff out. I don't think that's gonna buff out. Well, this is gonna be a lot. I don't think that's gonna buff out. A lot that I'll probably be taking out. I don't think that's gonna buff out. Dig around the back. I don't think that's gonna buff out. 
Oh goodness. Okay. And I can't really get to the back of the car. So how do I get it? Subtle. Real subtle, Marty. I think that's going to buff out. I don't think that's going to buff out. Okay. I need the wheel off the car, but the wheel doesn't work without power. Right. I don't want to go back to the wall. Can we walk over here? Okay, so I need to get to the back of the car to get the battery. But it is not letting me. think that's gonna buff out what am I missing it's better if I keep this on me at all times yeah I better not this could be the only printing left in existence Looks normal. Let's stay that way, okay, Dad? Hill Valley crime at all-time low. No joke. Oh, I have nothing, and I can't get in I here. I need the wheel off the car, but the wheel doesn't work without power. Right. So... Dig around the back of the car until you find the battery. volts wait this is the car battery uh, must have been installed in 2015 with the mr. fusion still has plenty of juice now, now that it's off the car it looks like the power cables for the hover system have disconnected let's see here Red to positive, black to negative. Oh! oh. Far out. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. That is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> oh, long loading screens. I tell ya. Okay, Marty. Nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. 
That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just take a deep breath and remember, you gotta find Doc. Or live in this timeline. <laughs> So, so clean. Good morning, citizen. And good morning to you, too, citizen. Edna. What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker! That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt? Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm. Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Heavy. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts. Is illegal? Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? No, but. Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Biff? 
Doc? Doc, wait! I need to talk to you. Ministry of Tourism. I can't see why people would want a vacation here. Oh, wait, citizen. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. What's the problem, citizen? Oops, wrong number. First Citizen Brown, the mind head of Hill Valley. A man of infinite wisdom and awe-inspiring imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, but hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single-handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving Kid Tannen and his bootlegging syndicate. After this heroic event, immortalized by the grand statue on the courthouse lawn, First Citizen Brown devoted his life to civil and social engineering. Well guys, that's where we're gonna have to leave it for now. See you next time. Thanks for watching, and I hope you're having an awesome day. Bye!